What's up awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and I'm here to do a Blu-ray update for you. And I do apologize for the lighting, it is not the greatest in the room, it's getting dark out now and this is really the only free time I have to do this video because I have work and then school work. Uh, the school quarter is about to end so you know I'm gonna get caught up and wrap all that up. So this is the only free time I have to do this video, so I do apologize for the lighting. But I hope you guys enjoy my update. I, like I said, got nine titles here, some pretty awesome stuff, some great deals. Um, I went uh, Black Friday shopping for literally about 20 minutes. I knew what I wanted and I got out of there. And I went to a place called Shopco near me. Uh, not the biggest, you know, um, chain, store chain, uh, if that makes sense. But uh, they did have some really good deals, and I go there every re every year instead of Walmart because um, they usually, like I said, have really good deals and some really cool titles. And so this year I found three of them that I'm going to show you first. Um, I also got a awesome, you know, Blu-ray for my buddy Pat. We did another trade. Going to show that. And then show you some other kind of cheap pickups that I picked up and some really cool deals on horror movie Blu-rays that I found. So... Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started with my first three purchases, which was on Black Friday. And the first one is Star Trek Beyond uh, with the slipcover. I love this movie. I saw this recently, this past week on um, Thanksgiving uh, for the first time. You know, I missed out seeing it in theaters. I really wanted to see it, but I just didn't have time to do it. So I saw this for the first time on Blu-ray recently, and I absolutely loved it. Um, for me, I don't know if it's my favorite. It might possibly be my favorite. Um, I gotta go back and watch the first two movies. But I absolutely love these new Star Trek movies. You know, I will admit, I have really never seen the old Star Trek movies. I think I saw maybe one or two of them. So I gotta go back and watch those movies at some point. But I love the new Star Trek films, and I never thought I would be a fan of the Star Trek movies just because I never grew up with the original films. I was never interested in them as a kid, um, even as a teenager, but uh, I saw the 2009 Star Trek movie probably a year or two after it was released, and I absolutely loved that. I loved Star Trek Into Darkness. I thought that was awesome, um, and I loved Beyond. I thought Beyond was uh, fantastic, so if they, give, if they keep going the same route with awesome writers and awesome directors, I look forward to uh, future installments in this new uh, Star Trek series. Um, I've not had one film in these new movies that have let me down. I loved all of them. So, But this deal was awesome because I got this for $5.99 brand new. Um, it's usually, you know, $20 or more um, in, you know, normal prices in the stores. Uh, because this just came out uh, the beginning of November, so I was really shocked that it was $5.99. It was in a $5.99 bin. There was mostly DVDs in that bin, but there were some Blu-rays, and there's maybe one or two of these Star Trek Beyond Blu-rays. And I thought maybe somebody misplaced them, but when I saw like another copy, I was like, maybe they are $5.99. So I went up to the uh, employee who was working there, and I asked him if it was $5.99, and it was. So I picked this up, could not say no to this. I would have been willing to pay like, you know, $9.99, $16.99 for it, just because it just came out. But $5.99 was a fantastic deal for this. I absolutely love the movie. Glad to own it in my collection. Uh, these movies are a lot of fun for me, so I can't wait to see the fourth one. I might see that one in theaters. I missed out on seeing this one, and I didn't see the other two movies in theaters. So I'm definitely going to go and hopefully see the new one in theater. So, but Star Trek Beyond, $5.99 on Black Friday. Can't beat that. Love the movie. Happy to own that. Uh, the next one I got was $10.99. And this one came out uh, a couple months ago, maybe a few months ago. But I saw this one again recently for the first time. And I was really surprised at how well the sequel was because I absolutely loved it. I love the first movie. The first movie really surprised me. I was not ex expecting to love that movie when I saw it, but I did, and I love the sequel. And it's Now You See Me Too with that lenticular slipcover. Uh, I got this for $10.99. I was really surprised that 
Star Trek was $5.99, but this was $10.99. But again, this is a really good deal for the movie because it's still, you know, semi brand new. And, you know, it usually goes for like, you know, $20, $15, you know, something like that, or even higher depending on where you go. So this was $10.99 brand new, and it came with this awesome lenticular slipcover, which I love. And I love the movie. I was really surprised at how much I loved it. You know, I was surprised at how much I loved the first film. When I saw the trailers for the second movie, I thought, yeah, it looks okay. Um, I'll see it eventually. I saw it uh, recently for the first time on Blu-ray, and I absolutely loved it. So for me, this was a must-own. I'm a big fan of the first film. I'm a big fan of this one. So if they do a third one, which I hear they're doing it, I cannot wait to see it. Uh, I look forward to seeing it, and hopefully it's good, because the first two movies really surprised me. Uh, what I love about these movies is, for most part, like all the twists and the turns throughout the, the first movie and this film are really good, and they surprise me. Um, and I love the cast. I think it's a great cast. You got uh, some great, like I said, cast members in the movie, great acting, uh, fun stories. They keep me interested. Um, and so, yeah, I was happy to get this one. And like I said, for uh, for $10.99 with that slipcover, it was an amazing deal. So happy to own that. Uh, the next one, and this was my last uh, Black Friday purchase. Uh, for a Disney movie, this is not a bad price for it. It was $16.49. Uh, brand new, and I heard from uh, somebody else that they were actually selling this for, um, you know, around $14.99, $16.99, something like that. And so I had to go over there and grab it, and I was really un only going to get this one because I was not expecting to find Now You See Me 2 in Star Trek Beyond, but I also picked up Alice Through the Looking Glass. Now for me, I saw the first movie back when it came out on DVD, and I was not too crazy about it. Uh, surprisingly enough, I went back and I rewatched it on Blu-ray, and I really enjoy the movie. I think it's great, in my opinion. So I was happy to actually go back and rewatch the first film. I think I picked it up for like $8.99 on Blu-ray this past summer, so I couldn't say no to that. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'm happy I picked up the first film, but I love the second movie. Uh, again, really surprised me like Now You See Me too. I was not expecting to love this movie. I did not go into this movie hyped up. I did not see it in theaters, but I saw it recently for the first time on Blu-ray, and I thought, oh, well, I think it's awesome. I think it's an awesome movie, and in my opinion, a better film than Alice in Wonderland. Um, this one for a first time watch, I absolutely loved it. So I was happy to pick this up. I wanted to grab this. I almost bought it online the day after I saw the movie for the first time on Blu-ray, but I'm glad I waited because I picked it up for $16.49, brand new. Um, and it's a Disney title, and usually they're like $20 or over. So for me, this was fantastic. And it came with the slipcover. I was really happy with that. Very nice and shiny. And great bonus features on the back of it. I haven't watched them, but Blu-ray transfer-wise, the movie looked and sounds awesome. So, very happy with that. Um, I know a lot of people hated this movie, or it got mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people don't love it, some people hate it. Critics really bashed it, but I loved it. So, happy to own Alice Through the Looking Glass. Uh, the next one I picked up, or this one, was a trade for my buddy Pat. Um, was Child's Play, the Scream Factory Edition, which originally I was not going to get this, but I heard really good things about the transfer, and the transfer is awesome. If you're a fan of Child's Play, you definitely want to pick this one up. Uh, like I said, the transfer is awesome, it sounds awesome, and it has a lot of great bonus features. Some previous bonus features from um, previous Blu-ray and DVD releases, but also some brand new bonus features. So I was happy to get this, and thank you to my buddy Pat. Uh, here is the original artwork, by the way. Thank you to my buddy Pat for doing another awesome trade. I love doing these trades with you. And, uh, you know, you find me some awesome stuff, and I find you some awesome stuff. So definitely happy to get this one and own it, own it in my collection. And I love that new artwork. So awesome. Happy to own that. So thank you, Pat, for that. You rock. 
the next two are horror movie, or the next three are horror movie Blu-rays, and I found some really good deals with these. Uh, the first one is The Initiation. This is the new Arrow Video Blu-ray. And this is one of my favorite 80s slasher movies. I absolutely love this movie. I think it's awesome. Um, I saw this for, well, not the first time, but I saw it for the first time on Blu-ray uh, a couple nights ago. And the Arrow transfer looks and sounds uh, great. I was very happy with that. Um, you have the original artwork there, which is classic. I love it. But you also have the new artwork which I love as well, so I'm probably going to be flipping, flipping them around um, every so often. But you have that new artwork there, which I was very impressed with as well. So, very happy with that. Very happy with this release. I was not expecting a little, kind of unknown slasher movie, unless you're a big diehard slasher movie fan, like The Initiation, to get the... Uh, to get a Blu-ray treatment, yet, a, yet, yet again, a um, Arrow Edition treatment. So that for me is awesome. Uh, you get a few bonus features on here, not too many, but they're great bonus features. And you get a new transfer of the film. So if you're a fan of The Initiation, or if you love 80s slasher movies and you want to get some on Blu-ray, this is one to pick up. Uh, I got this for $22.98 plus shipping. So not too bad, uh, very happy with that, and uh, like I said, glad to own this. This is one of my favorite slasher movies, so happy to own that. Uh, the next one I picked up, and this one I actually got on eBay for like $14.98 brand new. Free shipping, I was really happy with that, really surprised with it. Um, kind of a little rare item to pick up because, you know, if you want to get it, you got to get it from the Umbrella website usually. And if you do get it on, you know, eBay or Amazon, if you can find it, usually it's a bit pricey. But this one I got for $14.98, brand new, free shipping, and that is Road Games. Uh, I picked up the DVD a while back, but I'm a fan of this movie, and I watched um, Pizzlewell, or Pizzlewell, Justin, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, buddy, uh, Justin's review. If you haven't checked out his channel, I will leave his link down below. He's been on YouTube for a long time. I've met him uh, either two or three times at conventions. Love um, his channel and love his videos. He did a review of Road Games, this Blu-ray, and I was very impressed with that Blu-ray review that I wanted to go back and try to find this on Blu-ray. And I found it on eBay for a really good price. Like I said, $14.98, free shipping and brand new. Could not beat that. And what I also love about this, and what the DVD really didn't have, was it has a lot of bonus features. The DVD only had one um, kind of uh, previous, you know, bonus feature that was on, like, the old Anchor Bay DVD. And it's, you know, a little nice documentary, but when I got the Umbrella DVD, I was really kind of bummed out that they didn't really put a lot of bonus features on it. But this one is loaded with bonus features. Um, I haven't really dug into all of them, but you get um, a uncut, not quite Hollywood interviews. That includes Jamie Lee Curtis and Stacey Keach from the movie. Um, you get, let's see, a 1981 interview with the director Richard Franklin, a 2001 audio interview with Richard Franklin, an exclu exclusive new audio interview with Stacy Keach, um, exclusive new audio interview with stunt coordinator and actor Grant Page, and you get some other vintage bonus features on this. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's loaded with bonus features, and I watched part of the movie. I fell asleep. It was really late, so I didn't get to watch the whole movie, but from what I saw, the transfer looked really good on Blu-ray. So I was highly impressed with this. Glad I picked this up. It was definitely a must-own for me. And for the price that I got it for, I was happy to get it. So, Road Games, if you're a fan of it, try to get your hands on it. Um, if you've never seen this and you find it for a good price, definitely pick it up. For me, I love Jamie Lee Curtis. She's my favorite screen queen. So, anything with her, I usually get. So, Road Games. Awesome release. Uh, the next horror movie Blu-ray was about $2.99 or... I was originally priced, I think, at $5.99, and it took off $2 for a sell that, uh, I believe it's called 
uh, books and trades. I'm not sure. I don't really shop there too much. But anyway, I got The Ruins for $2.99. Uh, this is an awesome movie. I have not seen it in a while, so it's been quite a bit. But the first time I saw this movie, it really surprised me. Uh, I was not expecting much. It kind of looked a little mediocre from the trailers, but I wound up loving this movie, and the unrated version, unrated version, is pretty gruesome. So I don't think I've ever seen the theatrical cut. I've always seen the unrated one. Um, highly entertaining, gruesome, pretty brutal. Uh, you know, great cast in my opinion, great story, uh, really kind of surprises you at times. So I was happy to pick this up for $2.99. I used to have the DVD. I don't know where it went. So I got this for a pretty good price. And this Blu-ray is really hard to find sometimes. If you want to get it, you usually have to order it online. And I almost did that. Um, and I think FYE I had it at one point for like $9.99 which I almost picked it up, but I'm glad I waited because I got this for $2.99. It was used, but it came in brand new condition. So I was happy with this pickup. That is The Ruins. If you've never seen it, check it out. It's really, surprisingly, a great film. Uh, the next two I picked up at Target. They were $5.00 or no, five dollars each, which was amazing. Uh, one I almost picked up for $9.99. Um, and I'm glad I waited on doing that, and that is Casper. Five dollars! When I saw this, I definitely knew I had to pick this movie up. Uh, surprisingly enough, I had it on VHS, I never owned it on DVD. So, it had been quite a while since I had seen this movie. I think I saw it two or three years ago, back... Two or three years ago, yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Saw it uh, quite a bit ago, and I really didn't remember it too much. So, I bought this for five dollars on Blu-ray. Couldn't beat that, and I watched it uh, about two days ago, and I love this movie. I, I loved it as a kid, and I love it now as an adult. I think it's a great 90s uh, childhood favorite of mine. Uh, very happy to pick it up, and the transfer looked great as well. It sounded great, it looked great. Um, it's loaded, well, not really loaded, but there's a good lengthy making of on here talking about the movie. It's not a brand new documentary for the Blu-ray. I think it was on one of the previous DVDs, but it's still pretty awesome and pretty interesting to watch. Um, I never knew Steven Spielberg was one of the producers or the executive producer. That really surprised me. But I love Casper. Uh, like I said, loved it as a kid, love it as an adult. Glad to have picked this up. If you don't have this and you're wanting to get it, check your local Target. You might find it for $5. I did, and it was definitely a good purchase-worthy pickup. And I'll give away this ultraviolet code, why not, since I opened it up. So if you see it and you get it, that is yours. So, and the last one I picked up was uh, one that I love. Um, I never owned it again on DVD. I had it on VHS and I would watch the VHS. And every time this movie comes on, I always sit down and I watch some of it. So I really enjoy this movie. It's one of my favorite romantic comedies from the past decade. I think it came out in 2002 or 2003. Yeah, 2003. And it is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. You know, I'm not really big into uh, Matthew McConaughey's like chick flicks. I know he did some of them. I haven't seen all of them. I think Failure, Failure if I'm saying that correctly, tongue tied, To Launch is a pretty good movie. I don't own that one. I had it on DVD, but kind of outgrew that movie. Still fun. But I always really enjoyed How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, and I'm a big Kate Hudson fan as well, so this was an awesome pickup, and it was for $5, so I couldn't say no to that, because every time this movie's on TV, I tend to watch it at least for a little bit, if not the whole thing. So, 10 or like I said, $5, not bad at all, I think I said $10.99, $5 uh, for How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is a pretty awesome deal in my book. So. Uh, it has some great bon- well, I haven't watched the bonus features, but it has some bonus features on there, which I might check out when I watch the movie again on Blu-ray. But this is one of those movies where, you know, if I want to watch something fun or make me feel good, or if I'm having kind of a bad day and I want to watch something funny or just something very enjoyable, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is one of the- one of those movies I'll put on and watch. So, yes, five dollars, can't beat that. Um, just a plain Blu-ray disc, but the price, I couldn't say no to that, it was brand new. 
So anyway guys, that is going to be my update for you all. You know, I'm going to be nice today, um, and I'm going to give you some ultraviolet codes, why not? If you've never seen Star Trek Beyond and you're the first one to get the code, if you can see it, I don't know, it's yours. So, whoever gets it first, there you are. And then, let's see, I think ha Now You See Me 2 had one as well. Yes, it did. So, if you've never seen Now You See Me 2, there you are. If you can see the codes, I'm not sure if you can. So, if you can, or pause the video, get the number down, they are yours. I don't use ultraviolet codes. I'm not a big, I'm not too crazy about that. So I don't use them, but I know some people love them. So they are yours if you want them. So I don't know if Alice through the looking glass had one. Let me check and see. Uh, I don't, let's see. Yep. This is kind of an ultraviolet code, but there is a code, I believe for Alice through the looking glass. So there you are. If you've never seen the movies, if you're the first one to get them, there you are. So, thank you guys so much, like I said, for watching. I appreciate it. That is going to be my Blu-ray update, and I will see you guys sometime next week, and I will make a video for you. Like I said, this is the only time that I can do a video this week, so I hope you didn't mind the lighting, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later, and as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. Have a great night, and go eat some Skittles. All right, guys. Bye.